Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and we have a complicated forecast ahead of us, so let's get right to it. We'll get to the easy part first. How about a look at the SkyCam network, and you can see the clouds across Jasper. As we look out uh, over the city there, and you can see a little bit of uh, the eastern sky getting a little color in it. There's still a little color in the eastern sky at Trustville as well, but you can see those clouds. It's still clear down at Mobile as we look out over the city from the battleship Alabama. But the temperature at the time I took this was 32.9, so it's chilly even down at the Gulf Coast. You can see the clouds on our surface map here across the northern half of the state of Alabama. Uh, so we will be seeing some sun off and on during the day. So kind of a mixture of sun and clouds today. And of course, a very cold high pressure system up there to the north of us. High pressure extending down across the southeastern US and we will continue to be somewhat uh, chilly. In the upper atmosphere, we're watching that next wave that's coming uh, across the central part of the United States and uh, that is going to be creating some mischief across the southeastern U.S., and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Temperatures across the northern part of the country are extremely cold. Look at those minus 40 values, lots of minus 30 indicated by the uh, orange. But across the southeastern U.S., we are in the 20s, which is still quite a bit below our typical temperatures for the middle part of January or so. The uh, watch warning map. A little less cluttered than it was yesterday, but still uh, some weather advisories for some winter mischief across parts of the Dakotas and Montana, as well as across parts of Missouri, uh, Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas. On our QPF, you can see from the highlighted area of purple that the heaviest rain will be along the Gulf Coast, stretching up into the mid-Atlantic states and along the southeastern coast of the United States, and that is due to a surface low that will be forming in the northwestern Gulf and moving along the Gulf Coast. And that's the feature that's going to be giving us some fits. So let's get right to the 06 GFS model run. Today, no problems. We will have a mixture of sun and clouds, so I think uh, we'll probably approach the 50 degree mark for an afternoon high. Here comes that uh, whopper of a trough and uh, kind of a combination of a couple of pieces of energy that are phasing up, one, uh, one up over the western Great Lakes, one kind of owned over Nebraska, and one down near the Four Corners area. Now, uh, you can see that the uh, by Monday, we're still pretty chilly, 540 line running across the Tennessee River Valley. So it stays pretty, uh, pretty chilly. But I think for the most part on Monday, uh, we will have clouds, but we will be rain-free. Tuesday, uh, things begin to uh, not quite phase up, but uh, we're focused on the shortwave trough in Texas, and that is the one creating the mischief. Uh, as a result of it, we should be seeing a low in the Gulf of Mexico, so uh, look for rain Monday evening and uh, into early hours Tuesday beginning. And notice uh, the cold is quite a bit back behind, and uh, that seems to be fairly consistent with the computer models. Now let's take an intermediate time. We're going to jump 12 hours ahead. This is uh, around midnight. The surface low is in the vicinity uh, just to the south of about, uh, looks like about, uh, oh, somewhere between Pensacola and Panama City. And the NAM uh, a little bit faster, uh, still uh, very similar in the overall scheme of things, but certainly just a little bit faster. And then slipping back to the GFS, by Wednesday uh, at midday, the surface low out in the uh, southwestern Atlantic, and we're beginning to uh, dry out. So I think the precipitation ends uh, early Wednesday morning. Now, what will the precipitation be? Well, Monday night and into t the first part of Tuesday, I think it's going to be rain. Here is the model sounding for a Tuesday evening. This would be around 6 p.m. And according to this, now keep in mind, and uh, Dr. Tim posted a pretty nice uh, post last night that I think is uh, very true. Keep in mind that the computer models may not be handling the transport of heat, or in this case, the transport of cold, 
uh, negative heat flux, if you will, from the upper atmosphere with uh, snowflakes. So it is very cold. Uh, you notice the values up there around 500 millibars uh, on the order of uh, very close to minus 20 degrees centigrade. So it is very, very cold aloft. If we jump ahead just a little bit, this is the sounding at 12Z Wednesday morning. And here's the difference that we've seen. Yesterday, it looked like the sounding was going to uh, be primarily snow by uh, early Wednesday morning. But this sounding now looks considerably different. It looks like, uh, and with this sounding, you're not likely to get uh, any significant snows. It could be a rain-snow mix kind of uh, situation. Now, the models, are they forecasting snow? No, they're not. So here's the snow accumulation uh, as of 12Z Wednesday morning. Uh, this is based off the NAM, and you can see that there is no snow down in central Alabama, and you can see on the GFS for the same time frame, 12Z Wednesday morning, the accumulated snow is zilch. Now, what I think is that we're going to see a combination. We're going to be rain for much of the day Tuesday, but uh, it could switch over as we get into the early evening hours or very late afternoon, early evening, we could switch over to a combination of rain and snow. So that's why the forecast says rain or snow, uh, because it's probably uh, going to be a combination. Now, getting back into our time track here, this is Thursday at 18Z or uh, uh, midday, and you can see that we're still under a very cold pattern. But because the atmosphere has dried out, we expect to be dry. We'll probably see a few clouds, but uh, with some sun, uh, we should at least uh, see temperatures in the 40s uh, for that day. By Friday, we still have a nice northwesterly fetch, so the cold is not going anywhere soon. It's really stuck. Friday, pardon me, Saturday, uh, the long wave trough position is still there, and we've got a little piece of mischief coming across New Mexico, but I doubt that that's going to amount to a whole lot. Uh, by Sunday, a week from today, the 30th, uh, you can see that the long wave trough position definitely established across the eastern part of the country. Uh, and uh, that little piece of energy could be creating some additional mischief on uh, late Sunday or into Monday. So a continuation of these, uh, <laughs> with the cold air firmly entrenched, uh, we're dealing with uh, the threat of wintry precipitation uh, from time to time, like about every uh, five to seven days. Now, going out into Voodoo, the, the uh, GFS is certainly not making much in the way of changes. Here is the 3rd of February and another winter weather threat, but you can see, of course, the long wave trough position, so we do stay cold, and the long wave trough still with us uh, around the 7th, so the long wave trough position definitely anchored, and uh, while this one doesn't show any significant precipitation, uh, we could be seeing something from that, that trough that's out over Baja. So... The bottom line is it's still very difficult to tell uh, what we're going to experience. But with the low coming along the Gulf Coast with cold air in place, we hope that the model dynamics are good. But I'm concerned, uh, as Dr. Tim pointed out, I'm concerned that the heat flux, the heat change, is not being handled well by the, the models. So the bottom line is I think you should stay tuned, and we will continue to update it as it becomes a little bit clearer with uh, the Alabama WX.com, and uh, we will certainly bring you the latest information. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Sunday. James Spann should be back with the next edition of the Weather Extreme video on Monday morning. In the meantime, Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.